Welcome all to the next episode of Rabbit Hole Chronicles. Uh, I think we're on episode four or five. I apologize, it'll be in the description on the YouTube channel. Um, my name is Thomas Perry. Um, so what we're doing now, uh, we have uh, sanded and primed the Wrecker helmet. Uh, we also have uh, used um, flat black um, Rust-Oleum uh, uh, paint and primer in one. Um, I used one coat, but uh, my Polish self dropped it and uh, it basically had dirt all over it. Um, so right now uh, I've just put on the second coat after sanding it again. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do the dark gray sections, uh, which are in this back portion here on the side pieces here and here, and then also on the domed part right throughout here. Uh, we're gonna be painting that. Uh, I have uh, some leftover paint from my days of painting miniatures. This is a uh, Craftsmart uh, premium satin acrylic paint. Uh, I did some uh, test prints or some test paint um, on my, on my fancy uh spray booth here uh this is the uh the section that is <clears throat> pardon me uh on the uh the black the the same paint that was used to spray this helmet uh, and it came out the uh the right color of uh dark gray i also tried it on the white section um for the primer but i didn't really like that as much it wasn't as dark as i liked it uh, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and start painting this. Uh, this may be a couple episodes because I'm going to take my time um, and it is getting late in the day. Uh, as for updates with everything, uh, I have uh, sanded a little and uh, primed the blade for the Wrecker uh, knife. I also have sanded a little and primed the uh, sheath that I 3D printed. I also inset the uh, six magnets into the bottom. I used super glue um, to start to put in and then I put that on uh, the magnets in and I put it on top. Uh, one thing that uh, sometimes that I kept making a mistake is you stick it and then you put it in, but you don't wanna do that. You wanna stick it down and then peel it off and, and turn it over and place it in the sheath or the handle itself that's going to magnetize to these six magnets that are six magnets on there. Uh, I did miss a couple uh, on that particular item. Uh, so I am uh, presently super gluing them. Um, so once that is done and dry, I will uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, and the last episode, uh, I went ahead and uh, warmed it up so that I can uh, fit these to my hands. Um, and these have been uh, sanded and primed also. There'll be a couple more sanding sessions of these. Uh, but right now I am working on getting the gray on the helmet. Uh, as for uh, a halt in production, uh, I did have a catastrophic failure of my uh, hot end. Uh, somehow the filament, uh, you could probably see here, I'm not sure if you can, uh, but right here, uh, all of the filament uh, filled in the uh, actual nozzle uh, and uh, this particular bolt. Uh, so I actually uh, had to uh, saw off the bolt itself because I couldn't get that particular one out. And when I tried to take the nozzle out, I did try warming it up, but it wasn't quite enough to get it warm enough. Uh, so the uh, nozzle actually snapped off. I do have them ordered for coming in on Friday. Um, fingers crossed they're able to get here by then so I can uh, start production on printing out the rest of my parts. Uh, the next thing uh, that I'm going to be um, printing uh, is the rest of the gun. I have the first print out for the uh, gun. This is chamber one of the Galactic Armory set. Um, it did have some issues, which is probably why this happened. Um, it didn't really print well here, but I'm gonna put some, uh, just some standard Bondo putty in there. 
uh, and then this just needs a lot, like a lot of sand, pre sanding uh, before we go ahead and uh, get that done. I don't know if you can see here, it's not great light, but in here and here it also had trouble um, restring, well, not stringing, but like very loose uh, filament. Hmm. Uh, also, I uh, tried to get the uh, bolt out of here, uh, tried melting it first, and again, it just snapped off. It is so, the filament's in there so deep that you can't really. I got to put it in an oven. I don't really have a pan to put that on. Um, so I tried heating it up with my heat gun and uh, that didn't quite work. Uh, so that part should be in. I'm also in uh, talks with Elegoo, who is the maker of my uh, Neptune 3 Plus. Uh, hopefully I didn't ruin this enough to not get it replaced, but the part wasn't that expensive. And I learned a lot about my printer. Uh, I didn't, you know, I'm not super mechanical, uh, you know, I know the basics of mechanics. I mean, you're in my tool area now, as you can tell by all the different tools that are sitting around. Um, but that is what's going on. So right now I'm going to uh, start uh, painting um, again with this uh, dark gray um, Premier Satin Acrylic Paint. Uh, and that is by Craftsmart. Uh, I came in a pack of about 10 of them. Uh, I also have the uh, the white and the red. Um, and the next episode, I will be applying both of these, uh, doing the, the front uh, skull along with the wet paint and the teeth on the front. So thank you so much again for joining me and uh, enjoy watching me paint. I'm using the 501 First Legion um, page to figure out uh, my color scheme. Um, this is uh, going to be from partially season one and uh, during the Clone Wars when they showed up.
So far, uh, we do have the band that goes around. That's going to need a second coat, but it can dry for right now. Uh, next, we're gonna go on to the uh, two side pieces. Uh, and then this back section here and here. Uh, this is red, uh, this band here ends up white along with the front and part of the top. my episode for today <clears throat> excuse me um, this is my uh, wrecker helmet I have the uh, gray on the band that's uh, around the head here uh, and then I also have the uh, gray in this section and in this section uh, next episode uh, we will be working on the white which I may not even have to go over with the spray paint because that'll ju should just cover up that those gray sections on the front and head and also the red that goes on the back panel. Thank you again for joining. Again, my name is Thomas Perry. This is Rabbit Hole Chronicles.